Hey friends, it's uh, April 25th, 2013. Um, I did a video last night on the moon, and what I was seeing without the camera, which the camera did not do it justice, was actually the uh, the moon was c too close to the earth, and uh, it's been hologrammed because the clouds were passing behind it and the object being a star, planet, whatever it was above the moon, it showed the clouds passing in behind it, okay? And uh, that was the, the significance of that. Some of you saw that, some of you didn't. I even put a request that if you were able to go out and you had the moon visible to go look and if there was clouds around to see it. But uh, as everything else, a lot of you refused to do that. Some of you did. But uh, you always want to go back to your own common sense, okay? Um, there's a lot of things going on. Satan is behind it, okay? And uh, there's hoaxes going on, whether people can see it or not, because they're not going to see anything. Um, there was a special team of people that come up out of uh, Israel, that are designed for this kind of confusion and uh, cycle warfare. All right, uh, I'm not sure the name of the CTS or whatever they are, but that, that's what they're trying to do. They really have no business in our country, but our country is no longer our country. It's an open ground for Satan to play in, and it's been that way for a long time. Okay, it goes right back to the beginning of time uh, when uh, the Lord. Uh, cast him down out of heaven, you know, so the battle has been going ongoing for uh, Satan to gather up all the souls he can to defy the Lord uh, of his creation. And uh, more and more people understand this, and there's a lot of them never will, because they're always trying to use logic to understand what's going on. There is no logic, okay, and it's going to get worse. You gotta remember, when Satan controls the earth and the skies, he will do everything he can to deceive you. That's what he's about. And he'll plant the greed, uh, the wanting of greed power and, uh, and all that into men's heart. And uh, men think that's the right way to uh, do it. And in doing so, they enslave others, them, others around them. And uh, to create their, their mansions and create their palaces and create their pyramids and Whatever, uh, you can look back through history how it's been, you know, the, the Great Wars and, and all the other things. Um, that's what it's all about, and that's the time we're in right now. Satan's ready to make a real deceiving here real soon. It's going to go hot. Something big is going to happen. And uh, it's written that two-thirds of mankind will be wiped from this earth. And uh, whether it be from something that's going to come from the sky or something that actually is going to happen here, you know, uh, because of man himself uh, with the influence of Satan. So the biggest thing is to get your heart right with the Lord and Jesus Christ. If you have not accepted the Jesus Christ as your Savior, it's a good time to do it. Um, I'm not out here to, uh, to, to be your salvation or to lead you anywhere. I'm just asking you to uh, take the time and search your heart and uh, reach for the Lord and ask the questions to Him. Even if you don't believe in Him, talk to Him and uh, give Him the opportunity to move in your heart and maybe change your heart so it's not hardened against Him because uh, Satan is wanting to, uh, to deceive as many as he can and get as many as he can to uh, turn against the Lord forever, you know. That's his game plan. And uh, that's what all this chaos is about. I mean, uh, those that really can see are asking, what the hell just happened, you know? Can I really believe what I'm seeing? Well, yeah, you can. But others, uh, they just look past it and just accept for whatever is being put to them, you know? And uh, the ones that are uh, broadcasting it in the media and stuff like that, well, you got to remember they're on a payroll. So whether what their heart is feeling, they're not listening to their heart, they're just listening to their wallet, and continuing the path of uh, deceit. So, you know, you can buy into whatever you want, but I'm telling you right now, every bit of a, uh, a Satan 
that moon ain't real, okay, there's something wrong there, there's something wrong in the heavens, they're spraying chemtrails, they're running our food, all this stuff is happening, okay, um, to believe it's not happening, well, you're blind, okay, and uh, you're, you're about to find out, you're about to get a rude awakening about what's really going on, and I just pray you're not going to be the one to start, that when it does come to, the, to your heart, that you uh, start cursing the Lord, because that is the moment you should really call out for him and say, I understand, Lord. I see, Lord. Help me. Give me more wisdom. You know, that's the time we're in right now. I thought I'd jump out here and do this video. I made one that's about a hour, half an hour long, and uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to, to put that up. Somehow my camera cut it off at 25 minutes, and... Uh, I lost the other part of it to another sector. I don't know how it did it, but it didn't. So I would have to splice together to lose the quality, and I really don't want to do that. So anyway, I'm doing this one right now. And uh, honestly, people out there that really know what I'm talking about, they see what I'm saying. And uh, I don't really care if you think I'm a bad one idiot or not. You know, that's, uh, that's too bad. Because uh, I know where I'm going. And there's no doubt in my mind where I'm going, you know. And uh, am I real careful about uh, how I feel about this with my relationship with the Lord? Yes, I do. That's why I talk to him and ask for wisdom. I pray all the time because I want him to know who I am. You know, that's important to me, you know, because I, I care. And I care for him and I love him and I respect everything he's done in my life. And I praise him every moment I can. You know, anything that uh, you hear me say, all the praise goes to him, like I said before. Because as long as I'm still in this body, I am vulnerable to the testing and, and the, uh, the ability for Satan to try to grab me just like he did Jesus, you know, and uh, to be blinded and deceived. And I don't want to be that, you know. So, God bless you. Hug the kids, hug the wife. Uh, I pray you get something from this. I pray that you, if you've never uh, searched the Lord and asked for anything from him, uh, that you take the time and do that. Because... If you're seeing what everybody else is seeing, or those that can see and question what's going on, why are they hoaxing and why they're doing all that, then it's a moment to search the Lord for those answers. It really is. On April 25th, 2013, God bless. Have a good day. We love you. Bye-bye.